The Most Dangerous Military Ships Military ships need to be equipped with weapons to defend against all sorts of attacks. This has required military forces around the world to adapt the way that they view the design of their warships, which has led to the creation of some very deadly ships. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the most dangerous military ships in the world. Karakurt Class Corvette First up, we have the Karakurt Class Corvette. The Russian warship has a length of 220 feet with a beam of 36 feet and a displacement of 880 tons. The Karakurt is the ideal ship for both long-range and close-range combat thanks to its diverse weapon system. Close-up combat is made possible thanks to the two onboard automatic AK-630M-30MM high close-up weapon systems. Long-range combat is also not an issue thanks to the single AK-176MA 76.2mm long-range automatic gun that is located on the forward bow and capable of shooting targets up to 9 miles away. It's protected from sky attacks because of the onboard Pantsir M anti-missile and anti-air weapon system. The Karakurt class corvette is equipped with three Zvezda M507D1 112C diesel engines along with three diesel generators. These allow the warship to travel the seas at roughly 30 knots or 35 miles per hour. The Karakurt has a range of around 2,900 nautical miles. MKS-180 Multi-Purpose Combat Ship, Germany The MKS-180 Multi-Purpose Combat Ship has been commissioned by Germany and is known as a multi-purpose ship for a reason. This warship was designed to take on any mission, whether it be an evacuation mission or one containing high-intensity naval combat both above and below the surface. It is said that the MKS is the only ship that is capable of conducting such a wide range of missions. The ship itself is 509 feet long and has a 10,000-ton displacement. It's designed to be able to remain at sea for up to 24 months while being maintained by a crew of at least 110 members, though it is capable of carrying up to 70 more. The crew will supposedly rotate out every four months or so, meaning that it would go through six rotations per deployment. The MKS-180 is armed with missiles of all types, from medium and short-range surface-to-air missiles to long-range anti-ship missiles, there is nothing that it can't defend against. The warship also comes armed with a 127mm main gun, heavy machine guns, light assault rifles for the crew, and even water cannons. Type 26 Frigate BAE Systems up next, let's take a look at the Type 26 frigate by BAE Systems. This war frigate was designed and created to replace the Type 23 frigates that BA Systems had previously created. As of right now, there are two plans to have at least 32 of the Type 26 frigates worldwide, with nine of them going to the Royal Australian Navy, eight for the United Kingdom's Royal Navy, and 15 for the Royal Canadian Navy. The vessel has a length that measures 492 feet with a beam of 68 feet. The United Kingdom's version of the Type 26 will come equipped with a Type 997 Artisan 3D search radar to ensure that it can spot anything while out on an operation. It also comes equipped with Sea Scepter Cam anti-air missiles. On board, there is also a Mark 41 strike length vertical launch system that consists of 24 cells capable of launching all sorts of missiles. The primary objective of the warship is going to be to conduct advanced anti-submarine warfare, but it will also be fully equipped and capable of supporting air defense missions and other general operations. The versatility of the Type 26 makes it the perfect ship for any fleet and any operation. The ship will be manned by a crew of at least 150 people with the capability of carrying up to 208 people. The frigate is powered by a Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbine along with four MTU Type 20V diesel generators and two electric motors. The Type 26 has a cruising speed of up to 26 knots with the ability to reach up to 30 knots. Arleigh Burke Class Guided Missile Destroyer 
Named after an American destroyer officer from WW2 who went on to become the Chief of Naval Operations, Arleigh Burke, the Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyers is one of the deadliest classes of warships in the United States Navy. The Navy added the destroyers into their fleet back in 1991, and they became the first U.S. vessel that was designed to reduce radar cross-section by incorporating specific stealth techniques. Arleigh Burke destroyers were built around the Aegis combat systems, which used powerful radar tech to track and guide their weapons in order to destroy their targets. Though they were designed as a cheaper but less capable alternative to other cruisers in the U.S. naval fleet, they proved to work so well when defending against Soviet aircraft and submarines that they are now being used in high-threat locations around the world to conduct various operations which include anti-air, anti-surface, and anti-submarine attacks. The Arleigh Burke guided missile destroyers are powered by four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines that give it a combined horsepower of 105,000. These warships are capable of traveling at speeds of up to 30 knots at a range of roughly 4,400 nautical miles. Type 055 China China's newest destroyer warship, the Type 55, is one of the deadliest military ships in the world, with its main focus being on area air defense. The destroyers are designed to have 112 universal vertical launch missile cells that are capable of carrying various armaments. The Type 55 is armed with YJ-18 anti-ship cruise missiles, CJ-10 land attack missiles, HHQ-9 surface-to-air missiles, and anti-submarine torpedoes. The primary role of the Type 55 is going to be to escort Chinese aircraft carriers while also taking on other operations. It's estimated that each Type 55 destroyer costs an estimated $850 million depending on the exact specifications. With a length of 590 feet and a beam of 65 feet, these warships are able to travel at speeds of up to 30 knots. There will also be many stealth features on board to keep the ship as hidden as possible, with reduced radar signals, reduced noise, reduced infrared signals, and reduced electromagnetic signatures, the Type 55 will be nearly impossible to detect via radar. China's Type 55 also has room for two Changhe Z-18F ASW helicopters. The ship will require a crew of at least 300 members to run properly, but has room for much more depending on the mission. Kirov-class missile cruiser Thanks to its massive size and intense firepower, the Kirov-class missile cruiser is often referred to as a battle cruiser warship. This type of nuclear-powered guided missile cruiser belongs to Russia and began being constructed back in 1974. Out of all the Kirov-class cruisers that had been built, two are currently still in service. The Russian warship is propelled by a combination of nuclear and steam power and is capable of reaching a speed of around 32 knots. The main job of the Kirov-class missile cruisers was originally to hunt down and destroy American ships and aircraft carriers that could potentially be carrying nuclear weapons. The missile cruisers come equipped with Voskhod MR-800 3D radar along with a foremast frigate MR-710 top plate 3D search radar along with multiple sonar systems allowing them to scour the oceans for any threats to the Russian or Soviet Union. Daring Class Destroyer, United Kingdom The Daring Class Destroyer ships were a class consisting of 11 warships that were designed and built for the Australian Royal Navy as well as the United Kingdom Royal Navy. They entered service shortly after WW2 during the 1950s and at the time were the largest and most heavily armed ships in the Royal Navy to be serving the Commonwealth. They were originally designed to be an inexpensive replacement for cruisers, which after World War II were viewed as being too expensive. The daring class of destroyers were built to be 390 feet long and have a beam of 43 feet. 
The ship is propelled by steam turbines that are powered by two Foster Wheeler boilers and provide the warship with roughly 54,000 horsepower. The Daring class destroyer has a range of 4,400 nautical miles and is capable of reaching speeds nearing 30 knots. The armaments on the Royal Navy warships include six 113mm Mark V guns that are placed in the three twin mounts located around the ship. There are also four 40mm Stag MK2 guns that are in twin mounts, a single squid AS mortar system, and two Pentad tubes that were designed to fire 21-inch torpedoes. USS Omaha LCS-12 Last but not least, we have the USS Omaha LCS-12. She is the fourth ship to have the name Omaha since being launched into the water on November 20th, 2015. The warship has been assigned to the Littoral Combat Ship Squadron 1, a naval base in San Diego, California. The LCS-12 is a modular or reconfigurable ship that is capable of meeting the fleet's requirements for surface warfare along with anti-submarine and mine countermeasures depending on the mission requirements. The ship uses a combination of modular weapons, sensor systems, and both unmanned and manned vehicles that allow the USS Omaha to gain supremacy in naval warfare. The littoral combat ship is propelled by two gas turbines along with two diesel turbines four water jets, and a retractable azimuth thruster. It can reach speed beyond 40 knots and has been recorded maxing out at around 47 knots. The range of the USS Omaha LCS-12 is around 4,300 nautical miles, and it is run by a core crew of 40 members consisting of 8 officers and 32 enlisted soldiers. There is also room for a mission crew of up to 32 members. What was your favorite military ship that we talked about in today's video? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below.